Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second part of episode four, which is um, event overview. And last time I explained to you guys what this section of inventing does. And I will continue with parallel process. Actually, no, I'm going to skip that for a later video because it serves for me to show you with an example then just to explain it for you also with the speed and frequency I'm gonna be doing an example of those um up here this you don't really have to worry about but it's basically as it says new page you just make a new blank event page delete deletes the event page clear just clears it like if it's right here you click on clear it clears it it makes it it turns it to the default as like you just made a new event delete deletes it Paste is like if you copy event page, copy and then you paste it, you paste the event page. Basically self-explanatory. Now let's get to the main part. Okay, these are the actual actual controls and they're broken into sections and tabs. Okay. First section is message. This is displaying message to the player, like a way to inform players and make NPCs talk and stuff like that. Show message. Show text basically just shows text so if let's say you have a an NPC and you want the NPC to say hello you just simply you simply put hello and you could add a face graphics if you want these arrows right here the first arrow is where you your text have to be before this or it's gonna get cut off if you have a face graphics and the second one is is where you have to cut off if you don't have a face graphics or your test won't actually show up in the game background basically normal window dim background or transparent that's the it's if you want the window to be dim or transparent or you want it to be regular and position is if you want it to be at the top of the screen when it displays middle of the screen when it displays or bottom of the screen when it displays Batch ent entry just like means you could just go on forever and then it's gonna create uh, it's gonna auto create a show test message once you exit the boundaries and preview you just preview the message so let's make this normal preview hello okay show choice this is where you show you you have a uh, this one basically just shows the character choice to pick from input numbers you the input number you basically pick a variable and then you pick the number you pick how many digits you want the number to be inputted and then it's gonna store that number to that variable um you might not understand this I'm gonna when I'm doing my when I'm actually I'm gonna be doing the tutorial of events and stuff but now I'm just going through over it. you might not get some of these things and you might get some of it but don't worry because when I'm doing event tutorials then you're definitely gonna get it select key item this one I actually don't know what it's for because this is new to VS ace and I haven't actually used it yet so I'm gonna skip that scrolling test this is also new to VS ace but this is mainly used for titles like you could just have a prologue in your game and just like I didn't mean to type all those K's but you could just basically have it go like scroll through it's basically like the show message but it scrolls through the text as it goes along game progression um this is basically the way you control switches and variables and switches and variables and self switch for the individual events or switches and variable for multiple events and you control timer is that well the control timer thing is actually just it's just a timer you don't actually and then you could just like make it do something but if you just do that you're just setting the countdown um flow control flow control basically basically controls the flow of the game conditional branch is simple if it's an if then statement if is basically saying look okay, at the one that says switch one so it's basically saying if switch is is switch one is on then this portion is what is going to do if that condition is met and else is what is going to do when the condition isn't met so let's do an example that's going to okay let's say you have a you have a potion 
then it's gonna like you go out to a guy right and then he's he wants a potion so you put a conditional branch if potion is inventory it's in the inventory then it's good and then you and then you go out to the guy he asks you do you have a potion and then you say yes then you run the condition on the branch if you have the potion it's gonna remove it from the inventory and then the guy's gonna say thank you but if you don't have the potion it's gonna run else which let's say is the guy's just gonna say you don't have a potion stop lying to me and then if you and then it's just gonna end and then that's basically what this does and that's multiple options that you could make a condi make a conditional branch for but i will also be going over that in a new video loop what this does is basically everything that's in here is basically just going to keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over again until you break loop meaning once you break the loop um is it yeah once you break the loop it's just gonna i don't know if it's gonna run continue it's gonna run from right here it's either gonna run from right here or it's just gonna skip that and then run from right here so when you break loop it's either gonna run from here or run from here i don't i'm not quite sure i never use loop um exit event processing basically you could be in the middle of the event and the um person is saying something this basically just exits out of it it forces it to exit call coming event this basically this command basically calls the coming coming event which is over here in your database so it calls an event that you set up previously by yourself remember most of these you're not going to be getting right now most of these options okay three minutes to end this video so i'm going to try to wrap this up label label is label and jump to label is easy so let's say you say hello and no, let's say you place a label and you name it label one and then later on in the event you go to jump to label and then you put one it's going to jump to label one but let's say you put label two and you have label one label two and label three and then when you put jump to label and then you put one is going to jump to label one and then if you pick jump to label two it's going to jump to label two so basically you have a label you name it one and then you say you say blah 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 and then you go to jump to label one so basically this loops it because you it's label one you say blah 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 and then you jump back to label one and it said blah 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 but let's say yeah basically that's what it does you could add multiple you could add as many labels as you want it's just to I will again when I'm doing the inventing thing and comment you could some scripts use comments but comments is basically just to like help you um, organize your um, events two minutes okay movement the movement section basically things that move the character like transfer players transfer players to other maps or point from point A to point B either if it's the same map or a different map set vehicle vehicle location just like sets the um where the um um it basically sets the variable where they're gonna be like the set player location is gonna set the variable where it's gonna be located at I'm gonna be explaining this again event location basically this sets an event location that means if you have an you have an NPC event right here and then you want to move it to another location you just set the event location and it's gonna move it to that location but it can't it can't move the event to a different um a different map scroll map as it says it scrolls the map let's say you have a long map and you can't see the whole thing that like you want to make like a cutscene where you the king is sitting at the throne and the hero just just comes into the room and like you can't see the whole map so you scroll down and then the, the hero comes in and then the map follows the hero as he walks up to the throne or something something most something like that 
set move root is basically the custom move root you could set move root to uh, for the player and uh, other events in the map to make them do custom movements get on slash off um, vehicle basically if you're on the vehicle and you and you activate this is gonna it's, it's gonna get you off of it and then if you're not on the vehicle and you touch it, it's gonna get you on it I never use vehicles in my game so I'm not 100% sure on that and I am trying to rush cuz okay um yeah I'm gonna end this video right now going on to part three of it's of going to the event overview so thank you guys again for watching I'm gonna th try to go over all these options cuz there's a lot of them in the next episode and thank you for watching again.